Hello, and welcome. I'm Zinder, and this is the Final Fantasy XIV Level 54 Samurai Quest, Blood on the Deck. Uh, Musasa is looking for you among the drowning wench crowd. Katarina, your katana has come to sit well at your hip. Tis plain experience excising evil has matured you as a samurai. I have had an eventful time in this salt-kissed city. In the course of seeking evil, I came under suspicion of the local peacekeepers, the Mellow Packets. Oh, God. A serial killer has been terrorizing these parts. Twould seem whose weapon of choice is an uncommonly sharp blade, one not unlike ours. And so I found myself confronted and questioned. Thanks to Momozigo's testimony, however, the pall of suspicion was quickly lifted. Not only that, but we were even permitted to examine the victim's wounds. There can be no doubt, they were inflicted by a katana. The killer may well be a samurai, yet a true samurai does not take life without just cause. Murder is heinous in its own right. Committing it with our noble weapon compounds the crime. Such evil cannot be suffered. So there you have it. We're going after a serial killer. I must say, I'm morbid morbidly excited. Right, let's begin by talking to people in Hawker's Alley. Okay. So I suppose I could take the lift, but I'm just gonna take the Hawker's Alley Ethernet. Because I think it is overall quicker. I could be wrong. I haven't exactly time tested it. Okay. Killer makes Kirin, Kirkun dead. Makes Kikarun afraid. Actually afraid. Kikarun shake. Shaky wake all night. Burr. But doesn't really help us find him, but okay. The recent murders? Gruesome business. Then it seems no one's safe, neither. Why, even the traveler himself sliced up the unlucky sod. What sort of sick bastard do a thing like that? And now to go the other way. Of course it would have been the other side practically. The serial killings? Oh, don't get me started. We all of us here have been on edge. One of the victims was a regular of mine. Navigator, rest his soul. And I pray that the culprit is caught soon. Okay. A patron, a traveler, and a quick urn. The victims do not seem to have anything in common. However, the circumstances of their deaths are strikingly similar. They all vanished in the vicinity of the docks before later turning up as corpses. The killer, it seems to me, targets those who happen to pass along the landing. It's completely random, then. What a frightening thought. But now that we know this, what do we do next? We set a trap. Lure the killer out by walking down the area in question in the black of night. When he emerges from the shadows, we apprehend him. Ah, uh, solid plan. So who's the lucky one who gets the bait? Be the bait. Wait, what? what? Why me? Though the victims have not in common, it must be noted that none of them were armed. In other words, the killer preyed on the defenseless. With our katana at our hips, Kedri and I shan't make enticing bait. Conversely, where we forgo our weapons, we would be ill-equipped to subdue the villain. And so it falls to you. Take heart, my friend. Both of us shall be close on hand, ready to pounce ere you may come to harm. Now then, let us go to the docks. That's a bit of a distance. I don't remember being able to do that. Have I always been able to do that? Ah, uh, the Fisherman's Guild. It is time. 
let us set the trap. It's him! That blade. By the Kami Momozigo, that scream was loud enough to wake the dead. Small wonder the villain fled with such haste. It wasn't intentional. What's done is done. Besides, our mission was not entirely without fruit. The killer's blade, it is known to me. Some while ago, a wealthy merchant of this land came to Kagane, a port of Hingashi. The man had a fetish for blades and proceeded to buy up the finest he could find. I chanced to inspect the wares at one of the many swordsmiths this merchant visited, and noted a unique katana marked for delivery to his ship, the self-same katana the killer wields. Furthermore, according to the shopkeeper, the merchant was a laughable. A wealthy... Lolafelon merchant, you say? Well, in this area, there's Gigaruju, whom I once entertained with a dance troupe, but for all his vices, he didn't strike me as a serial killing sort. Be that as it may, that is our sole lead for now. Where do we find this man? At his resort on, in Costa del Sol, most like, but I'm doubtful he's the one we're after. I suppose the ferry skipper offers me a boat to there, doesn't it? Yes, it does. Yeah, yeah, 40 gil. Cheaper than teleporting. And it should put me right at the docks. Yep. Convenient. I mean, the Aetherite's not much farther away, but... Still. Wait, it? okay, they're not above me. <sighs> Who dares disturb my slumber? Oh, if it isn't the resourceful and supremely forgiving adventurer. I see you've brought company today, and of the far eastern persuasion besides. How very exotic, but come, what is it you wish of me? Truly now. Your secret, a suspect in the serial killings. But of course it isn't a mistake, and no mistake about it. However, I do have an inkling as to who the culprit might be. Gururu... Er, Guru... Gurumi Burlumi. He is your man. He made his fortune in cha trade and indulges in extreme excesses. Which, coming from me, is saying something. But most relevant to your investigation is the fact that he obsessed with all things far eastern and owns an extensive collection of katana why well, just the other day at a social gathering he was bragging on about one such weapon as though it was his firstborn when that he said that he wanted to feel what it's like to cut a man down we all had a good chuckle assuming he was speaking in jest the man did always strike me as touched but to think that he would actually go and do the deed to kill simply to satisfy his own twisted urges. This is no man, but a fiend in a man's skin. Master Gegaruju, we were wrong to suspect you and humbly beg your forgiveness. Will you tell us where to find this depraved creature? On his ship, where he lives. It's at anchor nearby for now, but I should warn you that he recently mentioned wanting a change of scenery. Ugh, a ship? It's going to be tough to sneak aboard, but if we miss this chance, who knows when there will be another. Ho oh, ho! Thank your lucky stars, for it just so happens I've received an invitation from Gurumi Burlumi to attend a banquet aboard his, and I quote, Vessel of Myriad Pleasures. So you may have it. A small token of my remorse to you, my dear adventurer. Show it to the man's retainer at the pier, and you will be shown to his ship. And you, showmaster, I will lend you my garb. Disguised as yours truly, none shall raise an eyebrow were you to have bodyguards in your company. And with that, I bid you success. 
Gurumi Gorlumi is a troublesome business rival, and I shan't shed a tear at his demise. We are grateful. Without further ado, then, let us assume our roles and head to the pier. Why do I have a terrible feeling about this? Maybe. There are a great many things that can go horribly, horribly wrong with this. Oh yeah, you can swim now, I forgot about that. Interesting. Master Gigaruju and company, you do us great honor. The invitation, if I may. All appears in order. Thank you kindly. If you would care to step forward, we shall cast off presently. It'd be hard for him to flee on a ship. Talk about being obsessed with the Far East. Your dedication to your passion is beyond impressive, my lord. Would that we had all your fine taste. Come now, we've scarcely scratched the surface. Have some wonderment for my prized katana. Uh, Master Gigaruju, always a pleasure. I say, are those samurai I see beside you? A commendable first effort, my lord, but they pale in comparison to my katana collection. You would flaunt the blades you use to cut down innocence? Twisted fiend, your reign of terror ends here. You are not Gigaruju, are you? And yet I would swear we've met. Damn right we've met. I'm the would-be prey who screamed his lungs out. Ah, uh, yes, from the other night. <laughs> you see, tis well and good to admire a blade upon a stand, but its true place is in one's hand. This, dis this I discovered to my sheerest ecstasy. The law is too good for the likes of you. You shall face the selfsame end you visited upon innocence. Not only do you sneak uninvited into a private gathering, you make violent threats against an upstanding citizen. It seems I have no choice but to summon the guards. Now, let us step above and pray put on a good show. I have a reputation as a host to uphold. Alright, so I have to fight his entire legion of guards and, from the looks of it, other creatures. It's okay. If he values, you know, things, he'll uh, give himself up rather than die at the end of things. Ostergrain! Koi! Time to make work for your keep. Or, time to work for your keep. Oh! I guess he knows him. That is no way to hold a katana. You are no true samurai. Bah, there's like a di like there's a difference. A samurai is just a swordsman what fights with a katana and his champion gladiator is going to show you how it's done. 
You heard that, Katerina? The difference is lost on this man. We must free him from his ignorance. Hold it. I have a mind to savor this. We shall save you for last. Let us warm the deck with an opening act. Ninjas? Very poorly dressed ninjas, might I add. For now, we enjoy the spectacle. I too shall observe. You alone are more than enough for these false shinobi. Well, I am also a real shinobi, so... Have at her! Kiri Suteri! This is part of, but part of your trading. Finish them swiftly, my pupil. And if you can't tell, I turned up uh, own effects. So that way I can see what my abilities look like. Am I supposed to finish them all at once? I have a feeling I'm supposed to finish them all at once. I mean, I didn't really finish them all at once, but that if that's what I'm supposed to do. That is a very small grace period. So I'll just do this too. Man. You're tough. I'll give you that. But how will you fare against my pet? Feeding time, my pretty. Hmm. <laughs> Tis a fiend who resorts to using a fiend. The beast is yours, Katarina. The false shinobi you may leave to me. Okay. They said leave to you. They're attacking me right now. That stance is, I'm preparing an AoE. No, my beautiful pet! No more games. Time to unleash the Samurai. Oh yeah, so I've gotten a new ability. Okay, I see it's a dash. Oh yeah, I forgot about the tank. The gauge entirely. I should probably use it. Although I don't think I filled it up yet, so... Come on. Well then!
Hmm. No. Just wanna... Oh, that's the button I was looking for. Not spacebar. Spacebar opens up the other screen. I'm really sad. Wait, that's purchasing. Pretty sure the echo is a thing during this. Combo ruined. it was in that stance. Whoops. I should really pay closer attention to it, huh? Oh, okay. That's the, uh... Yeah. to worry about.
beat him. No, it's not supposed to play out like this. The the banquet is over. Come, Katarina, we give chase. Do we, though? Do we? That is as far as you go. Who, who are you? I am Musasai. Beside me is my pupil, Katerina. We seek out the wicked and exact justice upon them. Musasai, the legendary swordsman whose tales I heard in Kugane. Small wonder my guards didn't stand a chance. But even legends bleed, and with my transcendent katana, I am more than a match for you. Come. This blade shall drink deep of your lifeblood. Unrepentant fiend, you belong not in a gale, well, jail, but in hell. Say your prayers to whatever kami you keep. You needn't befell your blade with scum such as this. We have accomplished our goal of excising evil, and for that I am glad, but this outing leaves much to be desired for your training. For you see, a samurai learns best when he faces a fellow samurai of equal skill. A loss they are hard to come by in this land, and a pretender such as that whom you faced is no substitute. Whew, we did it! Pats on the back for everyone, especially me. Now, what's this about? you being a legend back at home? Tis ancient history. Wherever I may have been in the past, now I am but as you see. Or see me. An old man long past his prime. Well done, my friends. You have rid us of a depraved monster. His was a brutal end, but it was no more than he deserved. Justice well served indeed. Rest assured, this mess will be cleaned up. As they say, what happens in Del Sol stays in Del Sol. We are in your debt, my lord. Benefits him. Took out a rival business. Business person. Partner. Not partner. Just, just rival business owner. There we go. Uh, our work here is done. One fewer evil afflicts. Afflicts. Oh? Who's to say? Are you alright? Worry not, I shall be fine. My endurance is not as it once was, is all. Come, my friends, let us move on to wherever the wind should blow. And the wind blows, twould seem, to the forest. Momozigo, pray lead on. The forest? You mean Gridania? Oh dear, er, I mean, of course, right this way. Yeah, Gridanians are not going to be happy about us taking law into our hands in Gridania. I assume this will be his last time. Turn in the quest and that'll be it. Whether or not that is the case. I mean, it's check marks, so obviously a turn in. And I'm not of level for the next quest, so. A nation at one with the forest. Simply being here is salve for the soul. Yet even amidst such seeming serenity, untold wickedness may lurk. Until such time as we find it, pray continue applying yourself to our art. Right then, I'll go about making inquiries at once. Mozigo is not enthused. But that's uh, that is the completion of that quest. I'm gonna call this good, and I will see you guys next time. Have a good day.